This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about I am God, biblical proof of Anunnaki, Ia, Inki, Yahweh, Jesus, Poseidon, Tau, Nehushtan, and Andonia. First, a few laughs. I wonder, since we can't see air, if fish can see water... <laughs> And if Jesus could walk on water, I wonder if Bruce Lee could swim through land. <laughs> Who is the Anunnaki, Ia, Inki, Jesus, Yahweh, Poseidon, Tau, Andonia, and Nehushtan? And what is the biblical proof? Inki, the N in Inki, meaning master or lord, and Ki, meaning is earth and he is the master of the earth he is the third great god of the sumerian religion and another son of anu like his brother enlil inki was the god of heaven and earth who had come down from the heavens to earth together these three made up the first religious trinity on earth in Samaria. Inki is the god of civilization, culture, creation, mankind, wisdom, magic, water, trickery. His name is in the name C, equal to Ia, and also Earth, equal to Ia. As Poseidon, he had the seahorses, or the hippocampus. This is actually in your brain, in your limbic system, and has to do with your memory and emotions. So please remember <laughs> this as the first biblical proof of Inki, Ia, Poseidon, the god of water, found in John 3.5. Jesus replied, I solemnly assure you, no one can enter God's or Ia's kingdom without being begotten of water and spirit. The spirit means real water, and this is exactly why in many religions of today we find water in baptism. And in addition, the earth and your body is comprised mostly of water. We are now entering or in the age of Aquarius, the age of enlightenment or wisdom. This has to do with the god of Aquarius, Ea, Inki, Poseidon. Jesus was the zodiac age of Pisces, hence the fisher of men. Jesus says at the Last Supper found in Luke 22.10, he replied, As soon as you enter Jerusalem, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Follow him at the house he enters. The house is the zodiac age of Aquarius, making up 2,160 years, and a great zodiac year is nearly 26,000 years. Hence, the 12 tribes, 12 disciples, is the 12 zodiac houses of the zodiac wheel that the sun travels through. In the myth of Adapa, Ea is the god of secrets and creates Adam and tells Adam, or Adapa, that King Anu in Nibiru will offer you food of life, but it is the food of death. This is an example of Inky being the god of trickery, but does give Adapa, Adam, and humanity wisdom. In the myth of Inky and Ninhursag, these two co-create human beings found in Genesis 2.7. Then the Lord God Inky formed the man from the dust of the ground. He with Ninhursag breathed the breath of life 
from the house of Shimti into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. This is Enki, Ea, the father of all races, and making up the Homo sapiens out of clay, and literally giving us a soul. Ea, Enki, as Yahweh, the Anunnaki god Enki became Ea to the Akkadians around 2500 BC, 400 years before Abraham used the word or term Yahweh. And the earliest Hebrews shortened it to Yeh. Abraham, the father of the three mainstream religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, was born around the region in Ur of the Chaldees. So it is logical to summarize that he knew of Inki, Ea, Ye, J, Yah, Yahoo, <laughs> and Yahweh, and the Anunnaki Elohim, and the various pronunciations of God. Inki was known as Tau in Egypt. His son was Marduk. And at this time, he made Marduk and took over the Enlil ship on earth for the Anunnaki gods as rank number 50, and hence the 50 names of Marduk. This has to do also with Isis, Ra, El, or Isis, Amun Ra, and El equal to the Anunnaki Elohim, or Israel. Out of respect for his father god, Ea, the name Yahweh appears along with the Ea as Andonia, or my Lord. It should be understood that God, Inki, Ea, Yahweh, is the source of the proper personal name of the god of Israel of the god Enki Ea, and the source of all creation and beings found on earth. Exodus 3, 14 through 15. God Marduk replied, I am who I am, meaning reverence to Ea, J, Yahweh, Enki, and to conclude the endless ship of earth to the 50 names of Marduk. Then he added, This is what you shall say to the Israelites. I am sent me to you. God Marduk spoke further to Moses. Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord Ea Enki, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. Inky is the serpent of DNA, of life and wisdom. He tricks you and twists your mind in order to show you how amazing his kingdom on this Ea equal to earth and in heaven really is. That is, if you're willing. The life on earth and the universe is good and evil or has dichotomy, or the universal law of polarity. This is why Enki is shown in this picture, two-faced. This can be seen as the two personalities of Christ, found in Matthew 10.16. Jesus states, Look, I am sending you out as sheep amongst wolves. So be as shrewd as serpents and innocent as doves. In closing, I leave you with direct proof of this premise as Ea Enki, as Nehushtan, and Jesus found in John 3, 14 through 17. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent or the medical caduceus in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that all who believe may have eternal life in him. Yes, God. Anu, 
equal to the Anunnaki Elohim, including Ia Inki. So loved the world, he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him may not die, but may have eternal life. God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world, but the world might be saved through him. Remember, Ea is the god of water. Even in your brain ventricles containing the precious CSF in your spinal fluid and in your spinal cord. Thank you so much. Deuteronomy 8.7 For the Lord your God Enki, Ea, is bringing you into a good country. A land with streams of water, with springs and fountains welling up in the hills and valleys. Always remember that you are and I am a spirit of God. Peace and love to you.